Hi, and welcome to DxOMark. When you are buying a new smartphone and you care about battery, the only information available is the battery capacity in milliamp hours and the charging speed in watts. But milliamps or watt alone do not reflect the battery experience you can expect from a device. And that is why we have created the DxOMark battery score to bring you useful information related to autonomy, charging and efficiency. Let me present you our Faraday cage made of 2 mm steel panels where an indoor cellular antenna and a Wi-Fi hotspot provide stable conditions, totally controlled and isolated from external live disturbances. Our robots reproduce clicks and swipes on the screen just like you and me. Through computer vision and neural networks, they are trained to recognize icons and keypads on any OS or launcher. One of the first tests we run for every phone is what we call a typical usage scenario, which reproduces a day in the life of an end user. Our robots perform a series of actions like making phone calls, checking their social apps, or watching their favorite videos following a strict schedule from 7 a.m. until 11 p.m. with about four hours of screen on time. Each robot is equipped with a light source, which we vary from soft to very bright depending on the time of day. The exact same daily routine will start again the next day and go on until the battery dies. We also take them outdoor to measure typical behaviors of users when they're on the go. Along a pretty fine route, each test case starts at specific checkpoints and our device on the test are evaluated against the reference device to cope with fluctuating weather and signal conditions. In addition to those tests performed with factory default settings, we go back to the cage and measure the autonomy you can expect on individual usages. This time, the device settings are calibrated. Screen brightness, speaker volumes are fixed to predefined levels. And screen refresh rate is set to default 60 Hz. So all phones are tested in the exact same conditions. All these measurements qualify the battery life experience. But charging performance is key as well. Because whatever your charging routine, there are circumstances when you are traveling, for example, where you will need to rely on a rapid battery top. For this purpose, our lab is equipped with an oscilloscope with current and voltage probes. We measure the charging time, but also monitor the charging power required to fill in your battery and compare it with the real-time battery gauge indications. We consider a charge is finished when the charger stops draining significant power from the plug because, on top of autonomy and charging, we pay specific attention to the overall efficiency of both the charging and the usage of a battery. So this is how we measure the entire battery life experience at DxOMark. We conduct up to 150 hours of tests for a single device to quantify autonomy, charging and efficiency. And these are the elements that make up our DxOMark battery score. We hope that this gives you a good understanding of how we test a smartphone's battery. Feel free to share your comments below and see you next time.